Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite and does this matter? It definitely matters and no they are not. They're paying for their children to have a fantastic all-round education and one of the major parts of that at Tudor is explaining to the girls how fortunate they are to be in this privileged environment. What single thing defines the success of your school? The relationships between people, whether they be between the staff or between the staff and the girls or the girls with other girls. It comes down to that. How do you guarantee your pupils' well-being? Uh, through very strong pastoral systems. Housemistresses, deputy head, priest, counsellors and knowledge of the pupils. What do your pupils say about you and do you care? Mm. Um, forthright, fair, obsessed with happy or dem, the school motto. Uh, do I care? Yes. How do you define bullying and how do you deal with it? Uh, bullying is a persistent, um, poor treatment of any individual which undermines their well-being. We deal with it in a straightforward way, open with all parties and according to our policy. When did you last find a student with drugs and what did you do about it? Well, at Tudor, um, it isn't the case that we've ever found anybody with drugs. We've only had a couple of instances in the time that I've been at Tudor, and the last one was about five years ago. And um, we were told by other girls in the year that this girl had something she shouldn't have at school, um, and she owned up to it. She was suspended. Um, it was a very complex situation, as other members of her family had been involved in her acquiring um, the, the material. Um, my perspective on this is perhaps um, a bit different to other people's because I'm well aware of the pressure that young people are under all the time. And so nothing is ever as straightforward as a policy. You've got to look at each child as an individual and look at the circumstances and understand what their motivations are and what the risk is for them and for the school going forward and then make your decision. Obviously, in the worst case scenario, their feet wouldn't touch the ground and they'd be out of the school.